Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. They're going to be talking about the upcoming volleyball season, and my guest today knows a thing or two about that. Sonny Kirkpatrick, head coach of the volleyball team. Thanks for joining me here today. No problem, Aaron. And so, Sonny, uh, first things first, uh, a new season is right around the corner, but i got to ask, you ended the season on such a high note uh, in the conference tournament at home, big win over the number one seed, excitement that, that pretty much uh, – filled the entire Trojan Nation with some pride in that moment. Is that excitement carrying on over here to the start of a new season? A little bit. I mean, we, we springboarded from the end of the fall into our spring season. And uh, the team really, really worked hard. And, and we, we got some rewards when we were competing in the spring. And spring is just like spring training in baseball. Mm -hmm. You get out and you get to play different teams, but it really doesn't matter for anything. Uh, we beat the University of Tennessee in two. Uh, so it was a really nice win over a, a pretty good SEC team. Uh, we beat a, a couple other teams throughout the spring, and that kind of has led us toward this this fall camp and our preseason practices. And so uh, how has practice uh, gone so far moving into the season? It's really been a lot of fun. Uh, we've we've kind of tweaked the, the coaching staff a little bit. Our uh, one graduate assistant last year is now our assistant coach, Lizzie Clow, who played for me here. And uh, we brought back one of our really, really nice middle hitters who's a graduate, and she's going to grad school, Brianna Cullity. So uh, we can get back to, to doing what we've done over the past couple years, and the girls have really responded to it. And, of course, uh, building up the program, obviously, throughout the years and, and looking at, the, at what, you, what you've accomplished in the past. So is, is the accomplishment in the past just in the past and looking to the future? How, how, do, how does that work out there? Uh, it, it is in the past. Mm -hmm. We, we can use it a little bit mm -hmm. where we can say, look, when we work together and, and we, we stay within the system and we, we're disciplined in what we want to do offensively and defensively, you can compete and beat anybody. Uh, but again, it is in the past and we, we have a brand new team from what we had last year. So we don't want to kind of go back and dwell because we've got five players that, that aren't experienced in what we did last year. So uh, we, you know, we want to just keep moving forward and keep progressing and, and getting better for the start of the season. And of course, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the uh, expect, preseason expectations. Uh, the preseason poll came out for the Sun Belt. Uh, Troy didn't fare too well in, in that ranking in the poll. Uh, what, what's your take on, on the preseason poll and, and how Troy fared there? You know, we, we struggled to get into the tournament last year. Luckily we did. So, I, you know, it, the poll, just like you know, the college football poll or any poll, is a reflection on what you did the, the previous season. And, uh, you know, depending on what we looked at for last year, it's probably where we should have been last year. I don't think we're a ninth place team, but, you know, ultimately we have to go out and prove that either right or wrong. Uh, ninth's not going to get it done for us. We, we are not looking to, to be down there. And, uh, the, the team is, is working hard to make sure that, that we're at the, the top level of, of the conference. And, of course, not all bad news in the preseason. Uh, got a player selected on the preseason uh, Sun Belt team. How, how do you feel about that and the excitement about that? Oh, it's a great honor. I, I don't know if we've ever had anyone on the, the preseason uh, ballot. Actually, I, I think we did last year. Uh, didn't work out so well for us, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we, we always, you know, it's a team concept. And if we're not all going in one direction, then we won't be successful. And, uh, you know, it was a great honor for Maria. Uh, but she also knows that she can't do that without the help of her teammates. And her teammates know she can't do it without their help. And so let's talk about uh, what you've got coming up here because the season starts uh, in not too long. Uh, how, tell us about the start of your season and your expectations and, and who, you're, who you're going up against. Uh, we play out at Clemson, South Carolina at the, I think it's the Big Orange Bash. Uh, open the season against Austin P. and uh, they're very well coached. I've known their coach for a couple years and, and she's very, very good at what she does. Uh, it'll be a, a tough, tough match to start. Uh, we play UNC Asheville after them uh, sometime that evening on the 29th. Then on the 30th, we play USC Upstate, and then that evening we play Clemson. So we've got four matches in those two days. Uh, it'll test our conditioning a little bit. It'll test kind of our, our discipline and, and our, our mindset and our focus. And then we have a day off, and we, we start our home opener here against Southern Miss uh, Labor Day at 1 o'clock. So. And we'd love to have everybody come out just like the end of the, the conference tournament last year. And, of course, uh, getting the folks a chance to see uh, you 
play in Trojan Arena. Great facility, a great atmosphere, as was seen in the conference tournament there. So uh, here's hoping that uh, you can uh, bottle that success and keep it going for this this season. So I want to thank you for joining me here today. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.